Well, how are you all doing today? I'm doing fantastic for once. I've come out of my slump. I've been gone from YouTube for about a week now. Many reasons. I've been busy canning, um, picking up the yard, putting out some Halloween decorations, playing with the puppies, bathing and grooming those puppies. They're getting hairy. Oh, and I've also lost my memory cards, all of them. So I had to order more. I couldn't just go up or down to the Walmarts nearby here. They weren't in stock, so I had to order it. I went ahead and ordered on Amazon because it's quicker. So I got it, I got it the other day. So why didn't I film the other day? I don't know, just, you know, procrastinating. I'm a procrastinator, I'm terrible at it. But what I'm going to do today is show you how I got this look. In the ideas. I'm gonna show you the new palette, nine pan palette from ColourPop. It's lilac, you want a lot. And it's all la lilacs and lavenders, which I love. So I tried this on my eyes. And if you like this look and you wanna know how I got it, please stay tuned. look I'm going to use the ColourPop new four, nine pan palette it's called lilac you a lot and when I seen that online actually I seen it the very morning that it was released I got oh my gosh it's beautiful it's beautiful online so I had to get it and now I'm going to test it out I've been kind of waiting to test it out so I can do it with you. All right, I do you like cute box? I love the way they package their palettes. On the back it has the colors of the pans. And of course, they're hard to see because it got purple on purple. How can anyone see that? How can anyone see purple on purple? Color pop, take note. Make it so we can read it. Too monochromatic. That word, too monochromatic. I guess that's the right word. <laughs> All right. Oh, and they did the same thing with it. The palette itself, it's hard plastic, and on the back also they have the names of the shadows. Now that I can see better. It's purple. It's white on purple. Our li lilac. So it's much better. Thank you, ColourPop. All right, I haven't even opened this yet. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, open it, it has a mirror, a little piece of foam, and here are the colors. Okay. And I'll just go over the colors quickly. The top row is called Cloud, Imagine That, and Ghosted. from here to here, okay? And then the next one is Wake Me, Fluff, and Train Wreck. That's from here to here. And the last row is Zoned Out, Iffy, and Filtered. Okay, now it looks like they got a little piece of film over that mirror. So I'm gonna try to take it out. I just did my nails. Try to match the lilac. Also, I guess I'm in the lavender mood, which is very rare. This color isn't my favorite color. My favorite color is pink, and I love green. I like yellow. Purple, 
purples. I do, I love purple. I love wearing purple lipstick for some reason. Over purple eyeshadow. I don't know why, I just, just love purple lipsticks. And I do have uh, one on now. And it's one we got in our boxy charm. Or no, Ipsy. Mm. Can I remember those guys? I think it was, yeah, it was from Ipsy. Glam Bag Plus. And it's by Jolie. And this particular uh, package that I ordered, I did order the Uh Huh Honey. Wanted to try that. And I ordered some uh, Super Shock. Yeah. Yeah. I ordered some Super, super Shock shadows too to go with the palettes. And this one is in the color Dare. I love the super shots. Just starting to collect them. Alright, that is the packaging and that is the color. Really pretty. gorgeous and that's gonna match this palette perfect I mean it already looks like uh, it's same color as iffy but it, instead of matte it's of course um, the shimmer The super shocks. I'm gonna prime my eyes, and I do like using Max Paint Pot Painterly. I just had the best results with this. I've used other primers, and they work okay, but I just really like this one. All right, I'm gonna use my 10x mirror, and I hope I don't go out of frame. Lilac. So, what shall I put my transition? What do you think here? Hmm. I'll grab a brush first. Let's see what brush shall I use for my transition? I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number 16. And I did clean these, although the most stained. I, I don't deep clean them a lot, just clean them up the Makeup wipes and squish them off real good because I'm gonna make sure to good care of them. And when I do clean them, I use African black soap so I don't damage the brush bristles. I'm going to use Imagine That for my transition, and it's this color right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start my transition. That's what I use to start with. everyone today. I am feeling so much better lately. I have been in a funk for several months. I have, along with probably a lot of us, have depression really bad and anxiety. I swear it's the global warming doing this. I know you think I'm crazy. Seriously. It's got to be environmental because I never used to feel this way. I'm going to build this up. I can hardly see it. It, it is a pastel palette and I've used pastel palettes before and I wasn't really happy with them. I actually gave them away and I kind of wish I wouldn't have because I thought, hmm, just gave it more of a chance. But we're going to just Keep building up here. Okay, I have that on. 
this. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next. Do you want to go bright? Or do, yeah, why not? I'm just gonna wing this. I hope it turns out. Don't look awful. It, I mean, I'm sure it looks fine. It's gonna take practice for me to, to really get the hang of these colors. This is really different. I've never had anything like this before. That's why I went ahead and ordered it as well. I have a lot of eyeshadow. I'm not eyeshadow palettes. But this one is quite unique to my collection. I'm gonna use Ghostin here in this corner. Right there. And I'm just gonna play around with that and put it in the corners of my eye. Like what that's doing and I'm going to do a lid color and then a crease in the V color here and I'm going to go with filtered for my lid color I think or should I do iffy this is filtered this is iffy one's broader than the other I'm gonna do the bright one on my lid and the filter, a more muted color on my crease and outer edge, outer V. Okay. It's iffy. It has a lot of pigment. That's one thing I like about ColourPop. Not only is it very reasonable and beautiful pigments, and I, oh yes, those bottom three, and the, and also the top are pigments, so they aren't considered eye safe. But I've never had a problem with pigments, not at all. And this one doesn't have any glitter in it, which pressed glitter, which I'm happy about. That's a waste, a waste of my money because I can't use it. The other day I did try out the honey. I wore it and I put a little the glitter right here. Just for fun, I wanted to wear it. Hey, I bought it. I actually got compliments. I thought, oh, really? I just threw it on, you know. It wasn't really supposed to be a highlighter, but hey, I wanted to use it, and it was gorgeous. It's too bad it's not ice safe because it's beautiful. All right, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah. So far, I'm not getting any fallout I'm being careful too. I'm not real fond of doing this type of video where I've never used a palette before because I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta play around with it but I just thought well I'll try it. I apologize, I'm very clumsy because I still haven't gotten to know how the palette works with my eyes and the looks I want. So, if you don't mind experimenting with me, I'll go ahead and experiment. I do love the shadows. They're so soft and silky feeling. These are wonderful mattes. So, we all have been getting into canning. I wasn't going to can this year. I said no, I was not going to do it. Well, my grapevines in the back of my yard went crazy, so I had tons of grapes. And I didn't have the heart to let them go to waste. So I picked them, my husband and I, cleaned them, made a couple batches of grape jelly. Never made it before. turned out okay, but it didn't jellify the way I wanted it to. It's kind of loose and runny. I thought, oh, what did I do? My sister said I was supposed to use a liquid pectin. I used the powdered. So, oh, great. So I got two batches. It's, it's good. I can still use it. 
put in the fridge it kind of gets a little firm not much or I can use it for marinades sauces whatever so I might see I think I have enough grapes to pick to make one more batch and try the liquid to see if it turns out better I also went out and bought apples I'm gonna make some applesauce and some apple pie filling and tomatoes didn't want to do it this year but I it's it's actually really relaxing and I've been in a funk lately and actually it's therapeutic for me to do it so I thought oh why not and my husband bugging me he wanted me to pan but once you get into it it's fun hmm. I'll blend together but that could be my eyesight my eyesight's not that great these days Let me see. Definitely needs a deeper purple, and that's why I went ahead and bought this. Because it's not deep, but it is a um, super shock, so it should help my eyes pop a little more. color into the corners. That's pretty. As uh, you can see, it seems like when I play these videos back to when I edit, I can see a lot more than I can see here. So you're probably seeing things I can't see. It's coming. Doing laundry. You probably hear my washer spinning out and think loud. Okay, we're gonna use. Oh, that was cloud that I used in my corners. Name of that color. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just play around some other colors just to use them. So, I'm just gonna play around for a second. So, hang in there. perfect today like most days far from it I'm gonna use filtered again that's the more muted darker lilac so who else happy that's fall now me I love the fall weather I'm not much of a summer lover Summer depresses me. I don't know why. You'd think it wouldn't, but it does. Fall, I just feel happy and just very content. I don't even mind winter if I don't have to get out in the snow. I'm definitely not a warm climate person, I'm not a cold climate person. Using my favorite wet and wild tiny little brush. I really love it. That's my first impression. 
For someone who really doesn't care for purple, I sure do like wearing purple on my eyes and on my lips. And what I did is I went upstairs, blew dry on my hair, ironed it, put some more blush on, and this time I put on a lavender blush from Lorac. I haven't worn that much. I thought, well, this is the perfect time. Fix my lips. It seemed like the, the other lipstick was bleeding up to my up my lines. Man, I don't mind getting older, but I don't like what things do. They travel. <laughs> I don't like traveling makeup. I want to stay where I put it. You know, stay put makeup. All right, I'm going to bag you up. So, this is the final look. Now I'm looking in the mirror over here to make sure I look okay. I don't want to edit this this video and say, oh, I shouldn't have did that. Boy, I should be living in Texas. I have big hair. I just washed it and it goes poof. And this is me ironing it. Ironing it. This is me ironing it. Still poofy. But I am I'm happy with this look. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this palette. This, this palette. Lila. This palette. Lila you a lot. Is I like it a lot. Playing words there. Silly, I know. Well, there you have it. There I have it. The final look. I just been discovering lot color pop. I'm kind of late to the game, but at least I'm discovered it. I like it. It's a lot easier on my pocketbook. Early in the video, I said I got the uh huh, honey, and this one. And I got some Super Shot palette pots. I've been collecting those, and I'll show you at another video what ones I have. But September is my birthday month, and I had a free gift from Alta on my VIP or Platinum. The VIP is for okay, the Platinum. And I spent too much money there. Okay, <laughs> plus you got ten dollars off. So. When Urban Decay came out with their honey palette, I wanted it immediately. I mean, the day I seen it, I wanted it. I wanted it, I wanted it. It looks so beautiful. And those aren't usually the colors I go for. It's really weird. Warm, golden colors, browns. But I fell in love with the palette, just the whole, the whole color story. So I went there and I wanted to swatch to make sure it wasn't just, you know, impulse buying, which I do. And I walked around, I swatched it first, and I walked around and looked at everything else and seen a few other things I wanted, but no, you know, I want to be careful because this girl don't, I have a fixed income, so I have to be careful. So I got to talk to one of the young men who worked there and I was asking him about the palette. He's he's saying it. He loves it. And I told him yes. I seen on YouTube and it's got rave reviews. So I went for it. So anyways, why I'm telling you this is I'm going to do a review of that. I want to wear that a little more and be a little more comfortable with it before it's this one. I was a little uncomfortable because I've never worn it. I think I'd rather do reviews than first impressions. Just so I feel a little more comfortable in front of the camera and in front of you. I'm very shy and insecure, timid, all the above, believe it or not. So this is hard for me. I've never, ever, ever liked to be filmed before. And then I'm my picture taken, I would run for the hills. So this is very out of my comfort. But I'm forcing myself because it is so fun. This is really fun. And 
I, not that I've lost my friends, I haven't, but you know, we get older and we, we have lives. They get, of course, we've gotten married, we've had children, now our children's having grandchildren, then we move apart. So I've kind of lost track of a lot of my best friends. So I said, well, you know, I'm going to make some more best friends. Life is too short. So you are my best friend. And if you want to stay my best friend and you haven't already, please subscribe. Right down there's a button. And also smash that bell so you know when my next video is up. Also like this video. Or not. Hopefully you do like it. I'm getting better at being comfortable. And also comment. What do you think about ColourPop? Have you already discovered it? I mean, it's very nice a way to just have lots of fun colors because they sure do come out with very nice colors and very pigmented. So I'm really impressed. And if there's anything you want to know about me, hey, ask it. I know. I don't know anything about you. That's why I want you to comment. Comment any little thing you want me to know about you. I would love that. And I will also gradually keep telling you about myself. The more I feel comfortable in front of this camera, the more you'll know. Alrighty, I'm not going to take any more of your time, but I appreciate you staying until the end. So, I bid you farewell for now, and I'll see you all later.